Hey, this is John Acosta, and in this pro tip lesson, I'm going to show you how to edit two clips together directly inside of QuickTime. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, John, why would I consider editing two clips together using QuickTime when I can just use a real video editor like iMovie or Final Cut Pro that does the same thing? Well, that's conventional thinking, so I understand where you're coming from. But let me invite you on a quick adventure and challenge conventional wisdom by accepting the idea that simple video edits like this can actually be done on the fly. First, we'll open up our interview video clip of Bob right here inside of Finder. And if you remember in our last pro tip, I showed you how to trim the fat off of any video clip using QuickTime. And if you haven't seen that lesson yet, I highly encourage you to go back and check it out first. It'll make this new shortcut much more valuable. Now in this scenario, Bob's interview clip is over and what I want to do now is add in Susan's interview clip right after Bob. And let's assume that I've already cleaned up Susan's interview. I synchronized her audio using the sync and replace tool. I trimmed up her interview a bit. And so now I just want to add these two clips together. All I have to do is find Susan's interview clip inside of Finder and drag it directly on top of Bob's interview inside of QuickTime. And as I drag Susan's clip into the QuickTime player, Look what happens to the player window. I'm suddenly getting a timeline view. Bob's entire clip has moved over to the left down here at the bottom. And to the right of his interview clip, we see the name of Susan's clip populating the right side. Now, if I let go of my mouse, Susan's clip will end up right there, which means that right after Bob's interview, Susan's interview will begin to play. Pretty cool, right? Now, once we're happy with these results, all we have to do is click the done button over here on the right. And from there, I'll need to give this clip a new name because as we now know, QuickTime is not making changes to Bob's clip or Susan's clip. In other words, Bob's solo interview and Susan's solo interview clips are left untouched. And this new remix that we've just created is a brand new clip that we'll need to save by giving it a new name. This is what the industry professionals call non-destructive video editing. You're cutting, trimming, and putting clips together without destroying the original copies. So just to recap, by opening one video clip inside of QuickTime and dragging a second video clip inside the program, we've successfully merged two interview clips into one solid and cohesive interview. Now you might be wondering, all right, Hotshot, that's pretty cool, but what if I change my mind later and I wanted to put Susan's interview before Bob's interview? And what if I suddenly decide you know what? I want Bob's interview to be shorter. How do I do all that? Well, that is an excellent question. And in our next lesson, I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, this is John Acosta. I hope you've enjoyed this pro tip inside of QuickTime, and I'll talk to you soon.